All righty, guys. Thank you so much for that. And we are going to get live into the action here in just a moment. Mega Man and Switch bringing you the action this time around. Yep. Looking forward to this one. And one thing to note that didn't actually really get touched on there a minute ago was that Tunisia actually took the French yep. down to the wire on this match earlier. They actually took it down 16-14. Yeah, the Frenchman did end up winning that. So this is a map that we know Tunisia is competent on. So it'll be interesting. Exactly. I think that we might see a little closer scoreline than our analysts actually think could yeah. happen on this one. And I actually want Tunisia to have a go sh good showing. I think, yeah, even though they're all in six, I think it's not a true representative presentation of uh, what they have, what they have to show, you know? Mm. I think uh, they can play better. Yeah, it's going to be a get, uh, tough against Sweden. Uh, Sweden is a clear favorite going into this one, but I just want them to have a good showing. On the other hand, uh, Canada just lost, so Sweden with a win here, moves them in somewhat closer to top two seed, right? Yeah, they're up with there with Turkey. Turkey. So yeah, Turkey's undefeated. I Canada mean, was until this, recently. This is a pretty, pretty important match for Sweden as well. Yeah, very important match. I mean, it, this... Remember, this whole this whole thing here, none of these are elimination matches yep. whatsoever. These are all for seedings going into the arena tomorrow. Now, every single one of these teams gets a shot to play in the arena, which is really cool. I think that's a really awesome thing. Even if you bomb out and go 0-8 throughout the duration of the day, then you're still going to be able to play in that arena tomorrow, which is going to be really, really cool to represent your country on the live stage like that. But we are going to go ahead and get into this pistol round right now, and it looks like they are going to be pushing in towards the A bomb site. It's just a split, squeaky, and a main, and Maytig going to be able to find the opener, Slap, and Adder getting into the action. Adder's going to find the double. It is just completely blown apart right at the beginning. Sweden with a pretty clean round. They only lose Maytig, but he did manage to pick up one before he fell. Yeah, I mean, uh, the guys mentioned it at the table, Slap is a pistol god, and once again, he delivers two for him, two for Ather. Practically, Sweden had a trap at the A site, and Tunisia walked right into it. Uh, another good round for Sweden, another, another good round for Slap. I mean, he actually is uh, showing his pistol skills, some, something like his countryman Dennis, right? Yeah. I mean, he, I remember that uh, triple kill against Denmark in one pistol, then the double in the next one. I'm, Definitely, he's proving his work with the pistols. Absolutely. We'll get to see that, because you and I had a little bit of a conversation talking about some of these young bucks, Slap and Adder, yep. um, prior to this, and how they're like the, kind of the key players uh, for the team. You know, you have Del Pan, the, the veteran behind the scenes, able to help these guys keep their calm, keep their nerves, and put themselves into a, uh, into a position to be successful. And we get to see an opportunity at that as they are on the CT side of, uh, of a map like Cash. So this is one that, you know, rotates need to be crisp and on point. You need to be able to read things properly. And they're going to have a golden opportunity at this one right now. Now, my big issue right now is Shiva is stuck over in Toxic Room with the P90 staring him down. That's going to be really tough. That's Zealous that's over there outside of the bomb site. But for now, it's going to be Delpan to open up onto Crumps. Takes him off the map. There's one more around by A main, but there's that battle that I was telling you about a minute ago as Shiva was locked down in the Toxic Room. Not much room for him to get out of that area. Adder is going to go to battle as well as Delpan, but they are finding a couple of picks here. They might be able to get a bomb plant, and that would be key going into this one because they weren't able to get the plant into the opening round. There you go. They will get it down. Slap cleans up two more into this round. He's 4-0 to start this one out. And Sweden will find that 2-0 scoreline. Yep. A good run for Sweden once again. Three guys staying alive. Uh, M4, P90, and FMS staying alive. But then again, Tunisia on the other side. I mean, yeah, they got a bomb plant. But once you force up in the second round, you're looking for a bit more, right? And Let me ask you this real quick. Yep. What are your thoughts on picking up a P90? Because this has been a discussion that I've had with a number of other people. Sure, you get the magazine size, you get a huge clip with it, but it's the same price as a FAMAS, and you don't get the kill bonus like you would with an up. But is FAMAS really that better? No. I, I actually think FAMAS is one of the guns in the game that needs to be buffed. I think it's too weak. Okay. I but what about picking up a UMP then? Uh, I'm yeah. Less bullets, yeah, but you uh, get that six hundred, that exactly. six hundred dollars. And the uh, UMP has more arm penetration, right? Yeah, and they had so head armor in the last I'm, round. Exactly, and I'm always up for a uh, UMP before um, P90, right? I, I agree with you on that one. Though you do get the mobility of that P90 and that True. massive amount of bullets that you can throw out of that little staple gun. But by the way, Xolos is already on a flank. Yeah, this is not a good look for the uh, Tunisians. They're just Pretty much televising this. They didn't even get out of A main. Yeah. They just got completely, I, I was going to say slapped out of the round, but that would have been too easy. I know you yeah. give me a groan on that one. 7-0 for slap. Brilliant start for him, sitting over a 
uh, frags per round ratio right now. And you've also got the rest of the team that's right behind him, Delpan with four, locking down the eight bomb site. And this is where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. What will we see Sweden invest into this one? Because they know that it's going to be the gun round. Are they going to keep the MP9 and the P90 moving forward? Seems like that it. spam almost actually hit Zealous on the yeah. backside of the wall. That would have been hilarious. Seems like Sweden is going to go for um, to stick with the, with the SMGs. And it works because they go, go aggressive on B. Xelos finds a kill on Sheva. Oh, Pote missing that one. Yeah, he needs to come. He needs to be a, a big player with that AWP on a map like this. Especially once they get over to the CT side. You know, open on up bomb sites for the T side. Getting some nice picks with that can definitely uh, bode well for him in the future. But the big thing is on the defensive side. Playing quad, being mobile, playing Z hallway, playing B aggressively, things of that nature. He needs to be able to hit his shots. And that was one thing on Dust2 that we saw when they played Argentina yesterday. That was a... Pretty abysmal thing. We saw him lose a 1v1 where he missed five off shots on a yep. player that was defenseless defusing the bomb. So he needs to be on point today if they want any chance of staying alive with this one. And walking directly into A main with no smokes or flashes is uh, not the way to start. Yeah, and the load. Nobody there to trade. Krupp sits the third. And now Pote alone on the boost. He's going to go down. I think Delpan is getting, going to be flashed in A main, right? Not yet, it uh, seems like it, but. Yeah, another good round for Tunisia so far. Yeah, Maytig's just kind of jumping, spotting that. And Delpan's going to play the close angle. The smoke goes out. Now they're going to call for the flash, and it should be coming out here in a second. There it goes. They are just going to fall back from this one for the time being and play this one a little bit smarter, but it's Maytig to find one, Delpan to find the other. Oh, man. And four players left alive. If we can pull up the scoreboard at the end of this round and actually uh, highlight over each one of those little skulls down there in the middle so we can see how many players were alive at the end of that. Yep, tab, right click. Mouse over the skulls. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, five oh, alive, four alive. I mean, you can three see alive, it. And you can see four, it just it, yeah. according to economy. You know, four kills total for Tunisia so four far. Four rounds in. Thank you, Mr. Observer. By the way, <laughs> four rounds in. Sweden. Four of their players have seven and more Ks. So seven K and more. So it's pretty good for Sweden so far. We see some aggression coming towards the B bomb site. It is an eco round once again. They buy up the armor behind that. Zealous is going to go in on one, but he's traded immediately and made it. Trying to make the best of the situation. He's going to be able to find one and done, but. It's going to be uh, turned on its head a little bit here. Tunisia with a little bit of firepower with these pistols. It's coming down to Adder. He's through the vents trying to find the frags, and he will find the bomb planter. And that puts it into a one versus one situation. Tor over here by headshot gets spotted out, but he hits nice. the shot. And there you go. The armor is going to prevail, and Tunisia are going to find their first round on the board. It comes in the fifth, but it comes to great cost of their own. It was a save round, and, but that and economy. This is, yeah, yeah, and this is what I said. I mean, Tunisia, I think they have more to show. And this is basically it. They, they were only on pistols. Barely any Kevlar, and they win the round. And this is actually five rounds in. This is the fir first round they go for B. Four rounds in a row, they went for A, and with completely no annihilated yeah. every single time. Yeah, so we'll have to see if they if they continue with that strategy of trying to filter their way over towards B later on in the round. But for the time being, there's the pop flash in, and I actually like that. I don't know if you noticed, but Adder shoots his gun, so they can't hear the flash coming. They can't hear the, the if it skips on the ground or if it clips a wall or anything like that. He's going to shoot his gun to get him out. But Tunisia. Starting off strong. Finding a couple of picks here. Remind able to take down two. He's eventually going to fall over by Squeaky Door, but that is going to give a pretty decent opening for Tunisia to have some map control this time around. Yep. And it's Remind with the double entry kill. Getting a lot of space for his team. You see Maktig, he needs to back off. He needs to pay, play more uh, passively because they're a man down. And I'm not sure I like this setup from Sweden. Just one guy A, one mid, one B. In, in this situation, it would be I better for it. them if they would get up and go for a peek somewhere, but Adder can make it happen all alone. That's one of the reasons why I don't, I, I'm not opposed to that strategy because he has a fast rotation coming out through Z That's true. up towards Highway, and he was playing a really strong angle, and he knew that they had an AWP on their team, but Tor is going to be able to come in, chimes in with one slap, will be there between a rock and a hard place. He's trying to battle out, but Crumps is going to be able to deck him to the floor, and it's down to Maytag. And one versus two, he's going to be able to spot out the one. They haven't planted the bomb yet. 30 seconds remain on the clock. And now a site control is back in Maytag's possession. And Crumps, he's going to try to hightail it out of there. And, well, I believe Maytag heard it. But look at this. He doubles back around towards Squeaky. So he's playing a little beat and switch with him right here. And Tunisia are actually now in the more favorable position as he is going to be able to get in towards that A bomb site and completely subvert that push that's come around back through mid. But look at this slowly creeping back out as Maytag. So he's going to come back up towards A. He knows that he didn't hear him through the middle, so he's going to have an opportunity back into this one on highway. Yep. Matey and Crumsey, 1v1. 
Crumzy spots the player and gets the headshot. Nice, nice job by Crumzy. And it's going to be the second round in a row for Tunisia. I mean, yeah, I think Sweden has enough money to buy still, but it's slowly getting a uh, little down. Yeah, they're not going to have a lot of funds. I, it might actually be a save. They bought really, really low after that last round. And yeah, you're going to see yeah. it. They're going to put a scout into the hands of Zealous just because he has the extra cash flow. And Shiva knows this. Yeah, they're going to go right onto the MAC-10. Shiva's going to have that. And Tunisia are going to have a great opportunity into this round just based off of the fact that they've got the firepower advantage. But we've seen Slap with a Desert Eagle previously. True. We talked about how his pistol work is phenomenal. And he's going to have an opportunity to show that again as he does pick up. It's only a P250 this time around, not a Desert Eagle. But the rest of his team are going to be pretty armed and dangerous going forward into this round. Yeah, Kremzy just checking the A site. He's not finding anything yet. Although Adder is there. And oh, oh. nice shot. He spotted that player in A main as well. He knows that he's over there. And oh there my go. god. Two for two. And Adder just one banging him to the floor. Nicely done. And like I said, we know the power of these pistols. And we know that when they're in the right hands, they're going to get used properly. And there you go. Spamming through the smoke actually takes up Tor. And still alive is going to be Adder over here from Forklift. He's still wreaking havoc. Finally goes down. But look at this cheeky positioning from Delpan. If he doesn't get flanked out, he's going to be able to push the smoke and flank him into the site. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He pushes on in. They haven't gone for the plant just yet, but he's going to hit a headshot onto one player. Shiva hits the dirt. And now Tor is going to be able to get the reply. But we're down to a two versus two. And Pote has that AWP. If they start the plant, this is a good position for Mating to be in. He's going to be able to push on in through the smoke. Tor's looking for it, though. Fakes out the plant. Nicely played. Yeah, really nicely played. And he's going to have three on the round. So it's going to come down to Zealous. He has the scout. He has, I don't think he's even fired off a shot yet. But these positions that the Tunisian player's in are relatively favorable. Except that the bomb isn't planted for A main. So if the frag goes out, Zealous is going to be able to find himself into a favorable position, forcing Pote to peek him. Zealous in a tough position. Having only a scout. He gets a tag off. But that's not enough. Oh, man. If, if he, he hit that shot. Moist. <laughs> yeah. He finds a headshot on uh, Tor. And he's going to stick it. Is Pote going to check this? He will. Xelos gets a kill. And is there enough time? I'm not sure. This is going to be really be... close. Oh. Yeah, no. He's going to bail off of it and get the AWP. He sh oh, he might not have enough HP to survive this either. No, yeah. he won't. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Would have been really close. I would have liked to have seen him stick it regardless. Just based off of the fact that I'm pretty sure he was going to die anyway. But man, which he does. the opening of the round. I mean, after with <laughs> this two nuts. nice one leagues. I mean, just back to back. And a, a valiant effort from Sweden. It was and a I really nice chance for them to get into that round too with the pistol work. And not only that, I mean, yeah, of course, it would be better if they won the round. But, I mean, considering you had the Scout and Eagles, and I think a CZ, something like that, you took all five players down from Tunisia. I mean, that's a lot of economical damage. Yeah. And, I mean, they, the big thing about that, too, is that they delayed that plant for so yeah. long. Um, Delpan with a really nice cheeky play around the backside of the red box, playing around the smoke from Forklift. And he's able to backstab one of the players. Now... It would have been even worse if they had forced their way in and gone for the plant. Luckily for the Tunisian side, two, both of those players pushed over to quad, and only one of them died before the trade came out. Yep. Um, if Delpan was able to flank that one out, he could have been able to deny the bomb planter and still had a line of sight on a guy over by quad without the player from uh, Forklift being able to refrag that. So, Good job by Tor, although. Uh, yeah. Triple kill and that fake plant, that, that was a crucial uh, play to win that round. If we started... Planting, make the guts that gets that kill, and it's then a really tough job for Pote. And another opening kill for uh, Tunisia. Yeah, that was actually a double boost in the backside of that B-bomb site to try to spot outside of the window. And it gets uh, it gets snuffed out real quick. Shiva does take a boatload of damage, but luckily for him, he stays alive by the skin of his teeth. So Zealous is going to be off the board for this one, and it's going to be a man advantage for Tunisia. So they're getting their feet wet. They're getting back into this matchup. And uh, potential for it to go to a 4-4 four four scoreline and a reset for Sweden would be oh detrimental. My God. And nice. Shiva. Considering he's only on 13 HP, picking out gets a one-tap. Slab needs to make something happen here, and he takes down Shiva. He spots another guy, but he's going to back off. And they're into the B side. This is a free bomb plant. Yeah, and with the main advantage, but unfortunately Delpan is going to be behind that smoke. It's not a good CD smoke, and he's going to be able to peek right through it. But look at this late lurk coming out from the A-bomb site, and Pote is going to be able to find one before he's traded out. Now, slap position is going to be what's compromising for this one. Remind is going to be stuck over here in checkers. The Molotov comes out. Remind is out in front of it, and he's going to be able to find that spray down on slap. So it's on Delpan versus two. He's going to miss the entry shot, and Tor is going to be able to take him down. So we're tied up square at 4-4. And now the big question is, what kind of money are we going to see on the CT side? Not a lot is 
is the Not answer good. to that. So they're going to be forced to save, and this is going to be a really tricky spot for Sweden. They're looking to, to yield the lead now. Yeah, it was 4-0 at the start, and now Tunisia with uh, four rounds in a row. I mean, they're right back into this match. And it's uh, this time it's Potei uh, with the Mac-10. He knows that it's going to be a weaker buy for Sweden once again. He wants to farm that money for the AWP. Oh, yeah. And here, here he goes. He has an opportunity into this one. He's going to be able to find the opener. Switches over to the secondary. Not able to find that second kill just yet, but he does do decent damage to that player. Zealous finally does fall. Potei with the Glock. Going to take him down, but Slap answers the call. He's going to be able to find one. Does tremendous damage on a tour. Almost takes him down. That nade just a little bit off the mark, and it's Crumps to be able to find one. The deeper nade does manage to catch out Slap. And that's going to leave it on Delpan. He does have a scout and a Desert Eagle to work with. Zealous was the one that bought up that scout to equalize money, but it's going to be a uh, very difficult position for him to be in. Does get the tag out, but the Molotov is going to be too much. Flushes him out. Remind takes him down. So five unanswered rounds now yep. for Tunisia, and they're starting to build that economy. The thing is, they're constantly getting openings into the round, into these rounds. Sheva, Remind, and the squeaky, Sheva on B. I mean, they're getting openings all over the place. So, I mean, Sweden, I think... It's just them playing, not even over aggr aggressively, but the guy, the solo guy in Squeaky, he just dies to remind. Yeah. There's no one to refrag. Well, and then the the one round that you're talking about, he, he pushes up aggressively yep. in Squeaky, gets traded, and then another guy yep. peeks into Squeaky and he dies too. So, a little unfortunate. Delpan, this time around, he's going to get aggressive against Squeaky and he actually finds the frag on the remind. There's no smoke in A main. There it goes now. So, that's going to at least allow Delpan to fall back from that position if he has desire. See a little bit of a spam duel going on between Adder and one of the players on the terrorist side, but for the time being, the HP values are going to be relatively the same for the remaining players that are on the server. Your mind has been eliminated. He's been the uh, the solo squeaky lurker, and I like this position from Delpan. He got the pick. They might think that he fell back into yep. the site, but he pushes up even more aggressively. So if they decide to fall out of A main, he's going to have a really good angle on these guys falling back towards mid. And if they do push that bomb, if they continue to walk with the bomb right now, well, he's going to die. Unfortunately, Delpan misses the shot. So, I mean, no. you hit that shot 9 out of 10 times. Yeah, but now they have info. They know Delpan is still in squeaky. And they, they spotted the bomb. for that. And exactly. But hey, takes down Delpan. They knew that he's, he's there. And uh, Sheva with another kill ag again on low HP. Yeah, this time it's only 10 HP. Manages to find that that's a little bit of a late lurk over towards mid. Now they've got highway control. They've also got bomb site control if they go pushing in. As Adder is stuck behind a couple of smokes, but they haven't moved the bomb in just yet. They're going to go back towards B, and this is the right call. If they can get themselves in through that backside of the B hallway, they should be able to get themselves into a favorable position. And Shiva has just walked right by the A defense and has completely thwarted the uh, hold that they could potentially have. But the big thing is is that both CTs are over here on the bomb site. That's a nice spray transfer from Zealous, and Adder does find Shiva at A. It's going to come down to five seconds, four seconds. He's got to take the peek, and Adder is not going to oblige. He's going to fall on back from this one. A little unfortunate. I'm surprised that he didn't push up into the site. He might have had time yeah. to get that bomb plant, I feel. It was nine seconds when he got a kill. I think there was definitely time for him to pick up the bomb and Three seconds it. to run up into the site yeah. and then draw the bomb and, and put it down. It would have been worth the effort. A, a weird round by uh, Tunisia, I gotta say. I mean, it looked like uh, they were kind of confused on what to do. Uh, Shiva gets a kill on mid. He runs out mid. Uh, you saw him kind of creeping up a uh, highway, but they decide to go back to B. I mean, his lurk was great, but it was too late. I'm not, 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 not sure about that round for uh, Tunisia and Sweden finally getting a uh, round on the board. Yeah, it was a little odd to say the least. I mean, he gets that mid control, and I think that it was because Tunisia had map control and they didn't really know what to do with it. Pote, though, boosted up in middle, is going to be able to get the better of Delpan this time around. And that's going to swing the man advantage again to the Tunisian side. See if they can capitalize on it this time around. As last time, they had a little bit of trouble later on as it was Zealous that came up big as well as Adder at the end of that last round. But for now, they're going to fall back from this one at A and see if they can't maybe attack another area. Now, they have left the bomb behind in A. That's something to note right now because they're going to have to send a player up to retrieve it, which they will now. It's going to be Crumps that picks that up. And that pop flash actually holds him into the A main just a little while longer. They're rotating to B, and I wanted to say Slap is probably hearing this. He's going to get taken down by Tor, but I think they know it's going to be B. They have two men here. Yeah, this back checker box position is going to be really strong. There's no Molotov to flush out this player. And with Maydig wreaking havoc on the players in the site, there's the lineup, there's the spray down, and Zealous, he pounces at just the right time. He bides his time, he waits it out, and he gets the right timing on that one here. You're going to see it again right now. And that was just beautifully done from him. He just waits, allows Maydig to pull the distraction, 
He just stabs him in the back. I think I think Slap was in a perfect position be, uh, below the boost to hear all that uh, rotation going to be. So I'm pretty sure he called that for uh, his team. Two guys in B, you see the one in sight uh, getting all their attention so Xelas can peek out and get a triple kill easily. Two rounds in a row now for Sweden, and it's Tunisia back on the eco. Yeah, this is a pretty sad situation for Tunisia now. They had such a strong start to this, getting five rounds in a row after losing the initial four, but they've fallen a little stagnant now after dropping two rounds in a row. That puts them back onto an economic disadvantage. Trying to spam over towards Forklift. That's a position that Adder has been playing almost every single round, and that shot actually nearly connected, but they're going to get out in front of that, and a Glock takes him down. Pote is going to be able to find that frag on Adder. They're still looking for a little bit more. They've already pushed a player up towards squad. They've got a player in A main, and Delpan needs to start hitting these shots because his teammate is losing life, and he actually does go down. Nice shot wow. by your mind. And suddenly it's a 4v2. Yeah, this is not a good look at all. This is an armorless round as well for Tunisia. The retake is not outside of the realm of possibility just based off of how low these players are and the fact that Tunisia keeps throwing bodies at him. But this position that uh, Bote was in would have been really strong if he actually had a gun to work with, but... It's a little bit unfortunate. Here's that one dig. Boom. Yeah, nice. I, I like the play by Pote. Um, he figured that Ather just spammed his whole clip into the smoke. So yeah. you know he's out of um, ammunition. Goes out, gets that kill. Unfortunately, the things I, I've seen from Tunisia, Singapore, uh, Argentina, teams like this, is once they have uh, the advantage, like the clear advantage like they had here, it's a 4v2 after this nice one dig by Remind. Post the post plan positions, yeah. uh, especially when you have the lead, it's something just not clicking. Great minds think alike, they say. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. It looked like a little NACS going on right there. Mm. You know, people always rag on the North American scene, but it happens so often. One of the one of the teams that was a, that I used to be pretty critical of when I was casting some of the pro uh, pro division teams was CLG. Their old old roster iteration. Um, their post plants were just absolutely yep. abysmal for the longest period of time, and that was one of the things. And it was one of their favorite maps to play was Cash. They would get the A bomb site, and then they would just be peeking from quad and peeking from forklift, and they would lose like three v ones, two v fours, and stuff like that, just the same way that Tunisia did. Now, granted, Tunisia didn't have armor in that round. It was pretty much a vanilla buy. I mean, they got That's a Glock true. frag out of it for crying out loud. Yeah, that that is true. But I mean, at the four v two and the bomb planet, I mean, you, you should, should be, be losing those. You should be able to win that round. Yeah. I mean, you can throw enough bodies at him at one exactly. point with crossfires to be effective, but now we're back into a gun round, and it is not going well. Pote is going to be able to get a parting gift, but we're down to a two versus four, and Zealous, he's got a great positioning here in middle. Should be able to spot out one or two of these players coming around, but unfortunately, he's getting flanked. So the flank flanks the flanker. Yeah. And not sure uh, how, Shiva's able to find one. I'm not sure how he didn't figure, out, figure that out, considering that uh, Shiva is the guy always playing on B. Yeah. And as soon as you got a kill from the boost... You know he's going to be coming from B. To Especially mid, when you so, had bombed down. Yeah. Kind of careless by Xelos there, but he, still, he does the job. Gets a double kill. This is going to be interesting. Adder's going to have it all to do. He's going to be able to find that opening pick. Does get traded Shiva. Tunisia doing a much better job today with their trade frags, but with seven seconds left, they have to force the plant. And there's the flank play from Slap. So he just bides his time. He plays it really smart. And unfortunately, Tunisia run the clock down too low. And Sweden kinda, are going to find themselves on an 8-5 scoreline. Kind of messed up order there for uh, Remind, uh, I'm sorry, Shiva and Pote. I, I don't think uh, AWP should be the one, the, fir the one going in first, right? Right. I mean, he missed the shot and then he's just a free kill for Adder in that position. Yeah, Shiva gets a, gets a trade kill, but uh, I don't think that's a correct order, but... It is what it is, Sweden. I, I feel um, in that situation you want to be more mobile. Even just yeah. pulling out your secondary as an opera, if you have an upgraded pistol, it's going to be more beneficial than uh, than what went down there. We do see a smoke come out towards the B-bomb site. And it's usually a telltale sign that Tunisia is going to be trying to hit in towards this B-bomb site, and that's exactly what's going to happen. They forced into this round. They've got head armor on one player plus an AK and then pistols to boot, but there's no smoke in CT and Zealous. Off frag after off frag, able to find two. Remind is going to be able to take down his teammate Medig in the back of the site, but the pop flash comes out. He's actually going to blind himself, but he blinds another player as well. And somehow, things have gotten turned around. Yeah. Somehow, Tunisia has found themselves into this round. And this is. Whoop. Oh, Xelos almost gets that kill. Whoa. Shiva with a nice uh, Tech 9 kill. That got him, man. I want to hear your opinion. On Shiva? Nah, on Tech 9. On the Tech 9? Um, 
Well, my personal opinion on pistols is I don't think any three hundred or five hundred dollar pistol should be able to one shot anybody. True. Um, I think that uh, some. Of the, well, he had one HP. Yeah, it was a one tap dirt nap. It was a nice shot, but um, I don't think that when you're close range against a pistol, a five seven, a P two fifty. Um, a Tech 9 that you should be able to one-shot. I think the only pistols that should be able to one-shot in the game are the Revolver and the uh, Desert Eagle. Yeah. I think that that's... I think the Deagle is actually in a really good place right now. Uh, more people are learning how to use it after watching Nico God go crazy with that. Yeah, simple as well. Yeah, simple. Shocks. Number of players can do that. The CZ comes out, though. Zealous is going to be able to find the opener. This is a minor setback here for the CT side. They're going to be able to save, but it's gone well for them so far. How? What? How did he not know? He's there. Remind. He the just got a kill there. On point, though. Yeah, true, but it looked like he was totally ob oblivious of Anders' position. Maybe a breakdown in communication um, on the Tunisian side. Yeah. This is the last round of the map, or last round of the half. And, um, I mean, a nice little turnaround. Sweden looking to 9-6 this half. And when we talk about a map like Cash, and you talk about mixed teams, you talk about pugging it and everything like that, it tends to lean in my opinion, towards the terrorist side. Yeah, definitely. Just because you don't need as much teamwork, you don't need as much communication. When it comes down to it, you can rely on individual play. And I think that's where we're going to see Sweden really accelerate into this matchup. Yeah. I mean, all in all, uh, even on pro level, on top level, I would say if you have uh, like two equal teams on cash, I think it's still like Nine, slightly, six, eight, slightly favors the terrorists. Yeah. Right? Now, we've seen in the past, we've seen pro teams go toe-to-toe -to -toe on this map, and it's been, you know, a, a very strong CT half, and then yep. coupled up with another strong CT half from the other side. Uh, one of the teams that comes to mind on this map is G2. Okay. They have a very strong CT side. Sure. But a nice recovery here so far from the Tunisian side. They're able to find one pick and actually get a second one out of this one, but simultaneously Slap and Delpan are going to be able to get one. Tor roasts one from beyond the grave, only because the pause at the end of it is going to force him to stand the Molotov. So. Yeah. A little unfortunate. Not something that really matters in the long, grand scheme of things. But 9-6. Yeah. What I do mean, you think of that? Sweden started off pretty well, but Tunisia kind of grabbed his they back. They got some fight in them. Yeah. Uh, I think um, Tunisia could have gotten uh, a round or two more. Maybe winning the half 8-7 to seven or something like that. But it's 9-6 to six for Sweden. And I think uh, Tunis Tunisia really needs uh, this pistol round. It's on the CD side. I think this, um, this pistol round could be crucial for them. Well, let me ask you this. What, how do you think Tunisia would have fared if they would have ended up winning that uh, that pistol round, that, uh, that eco round? Yeah, true. I mean, know, that th that's two. only one of the rounds. This is looking good, yeah. though. Like, aggression on B from Sweden. They got completely denied by Pote and Tor. That's a strat that I actually like to call, even when I pug, is um, one person spot out the A bomb site, play a retake on it, and then the other yeah. four people push aggressively on B in the pistol round on CT side. Um, it counters, as long as you've got people on your team that can aim, it counters that rush really, really well. And you can see how it worked out for Tunisia, as uh, Pote was able to find two kills in Tor as well with one. Oh, Pote has been spotted, and he has a player flanking him. Oh, oh my god! Wow, what a shot from Pote. That's, uh, it's a player that we haven't been able to say a whole lot about. He's the opera for the team who hasn't really been hitting shots. He's had struggles in the past. That was a silly shot. Slap, though. Wow, can we, get a, can we get a replay, please? Please? That was insane. That shot was dirty. That was dirty. It wasn't really a 180, but it was like a 90. <laughs> Plus, he was falling back from yeah. that one as well, not really expecting a player to be out in the open outside of the T-spawn area. Doesn't look like we're going to... Oh, wait. Oh, the, the, these Let's are see. the first These ones. are the opening two picks. Oh, these were nice as well. Yeah, back-to-back -back really fast. Forced him right off of that. Oh, here we go. Oh. Aww. Aww. Never mind. Such a tease. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, no not okay. getting it. Sad but it's times. going to be Sad Tunisia. Times. Yeah, it's going to be Tunisia with the pistol round. And they, uh, they have an opportunity to tie this yeah. now. Slap once again. Uh, I mean, in the first half it was mostly other, but this time Slap <coughs> opening it up with uh, with a nice one D. That's a position that we've actually seen him be successful with a Deagle in before when they played this map. Was just able to just go get boosted. And just let him work. Let him go to work with the pistols and see if he can do anything with it. And again, he finds another frag with it. So the Desert Eagle coming out. Tor does deny. But Tor is going to get traded immediately. And there you go. There's that $500 investment versus a $3,100 investment. And again, against Potem. Denied. I just, I dislike that. 
Now I have I have absolutely no say in the matter when it comes to pistol power and and gun nerfs, but but it's still not over for uh, Tunisia. Shevas find finds a kill, maybe finds a second one here. He's being flanked and taken down by Maketeg. Now it's all on Crumzy. He gets taken down by Delpan, and uh, it's going to be around here. For it is Sweden. Here we go. Oof. Yeah, that shot was crisp. dirty. Yeah, just crisp. Very crisp. One tap, right to Zealous's face and Pote. Thank you for that, Enzo. I know he whispered it. He was hollering in my yeah, ear yeah. right before it happened. We've got it. We've got it. Thank you, buddy. Production team has been doing an absolutely phenomenal yep. job. I want to give a big shout out to those guys. Um, massive improvement over last year. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I can't wait to actually get out into the arena. It's my first arena event that I've ever done, so I'm really looking forward to Mine it. Mine too. It'll be a really, really, really cool thing to do. Sweden, though, with that... I mean, what's uh, with these pistols, I man? I don't know. They all... Why, uh, can they just have a gentleman's agreement to only buy pistols? Yeah, I think that would be and great. And see how the match would turn out? Because that would be freaking awesome. Like Adder and Slap buying the Eagle. Pote with a USB. He doesn't need any, anything else. No, that's fine. I mean... No armor for anybody either. Here we go. Oh. oh. Just a sliver. That's all you could see. Goodbye, Nicely done. I like that they threw that replay in because they knew that nothing was really happening. Adder and yeah, Delpan are going to be able to find a couple of kills, but it is just a save round here. They did by four. They they did kind of force up here with head armor. Remind is able to find two Tor. No, they're not down and out just yet. One HP on Tor. He's got an opportunity into this one. The five seven close range. That's a one shotable weapon. Oh. And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to adjust in time, and he will go down. I think that player in uh, A main that was on a flank kind of rushed things. Uh, it should have been better communication between uh, him and the guy on 1HP. Uh, again, we're talking about that um, situation when you're in a, an advantage and you need to communicate really well. Well, it's an experience. You know. Essentially, yeah. I mean, 2v1, even even though your guy is on 1HP, he should be the one going in first and then Ooh, you dude. have a better chance of getting a, uh, getting a kill. Maketig find, finds a kill on Thor and Bet is all Sweden's. I want to see when Crumps dies if there's an assist that comes up from a teammate because I think he got knifed in the back at the beginning of the round. Uh, I think it's not enough damage, right? It's 40 something for an assist. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. I would love to see that because I yeah, know. There you go. He died. Yeah. No assist. Or was it Crumps? No, it was Crumps that okay. got knifed by a team. I'm pretty sure he got knifed by a teammate. He finds an AK and. No, nope, it yeah. didn't show up. I'm Sweden. fairly certain because he took like 30 damage really early in the yeah. round. And I don't think that any nades were thrown, so a little sabotage from within on the Tunisian side. But we will finally get to see a full gun round. This is, for once in this half, it's going to be the full gun round. Yeah. Um, the first full gun round on the in the second half. So uh, we're going to see Pote back on that AWP. On the other side, there's no AWP, so he's got that going for him. Zealous has got the running gun, Looks though. like he's going to go for aggressive uh, squeaky peek. Yeah, he is. But the thing is, they're all in A main. He finds a nice kill, but they should go now, right? Yeah, it's go, go, go for Sweden. Pote finds another nice kill. There's the refrag, though. Mating is going to be able to find one on the floor. And Pote missing a close shot. Switches over to the USP. Still trying to stay alive. He does go down. That allows time for the rotations to come in. And now up on high is Delpan. He doesn't spot out the second player behind the boxes there. Little ticket booth on Catwalk. And fortunately for him, they're both going to be able to get away alive. Now we're coming down to the two versus two retake situation. Where is that bomb planted? It looks like it's planted default, which is yep. not for Delpan in that A main corridor. So if they push into the site, they do not have a kit. So it's going to make things even more difficult for him. But Adder doesn't even care. There's all the re-peaking. Again, a dangerous situation. But yep. him re-peaking keeps him distracted. And Delpan actually took the opportunity to push out the forklift, which gives him an opportunity to either A, wrap on the site, or B, fall back around the backside of the red box. But... Nice kill here this for nice, uh, yeah. Pote and the next one, but I think for the third one he kind of went too aggressive considering he was the only one in the A side itself. But uh, it is what it is. Sweden takes that first full buy round and it's 13-7. to Tunisia once again only on pistols, but hey, we saw it. It doesn't have to mean anything. I would be <laughs> like, I would be surprised if Adder gets, you know, killed that on that range, but nah, not that time. Slap gets a kill, Remind gets a refrag, but he's already uh, been discovered in the squeaky. It's a yeah, 4v2, it should be an easy round for Sweden, right? Remind's got other things to say about that. Yeah. He's re-peeking back up from squeaky, finds a second pick. And finds a C4. Yeah, that's actually a big mistake here from the uh, Swedish side. They leave the C4 behind along with some rifles off of those fallen compadres, but 
We'll see what they can do with it right now. The AWP from around the corner, and that's a nice shot from Adder. Takes him down, deletes him off the map. Still one player left to beat. That's going to be Tori. He's the top fragger in the uh, Tunisian camp right now, but still a really difficult position for him to be in. He's trying to look over the top of that smoke, but the bomb has been salvaged, and it's going to push its way in towards potentially, I would think, B. But they're just holding for right now. They haven't moved the bomb at all. So this is kind of curious. Oh, Tor reads the situation and gets a kill on Delpan. And did he hear the guys on mid? Seems like he he did. He's going back to A. And I mean, 1v2, no he has Kevlar, and Aether, Aether is on only 20 HP, so this is maybe doable for Tor. He's making a lot of noise in A main, though, so they're going to know that he's here. That's a nice shot, but he's not going to be ready for Zealous to be up on, d on the scaffolding, so this should not be an angle that he checks, and it won't be. So that's a little unfortunate that it comes down to being that close, but that far away. Off gets salvaged here, and Sweden's going to be on an opportunity. This was a nice shot. Would have killed him in two shots if it was necessary, but the first bullet does land, and that will be uh, Tunisia denied in the long run there. It was an eco round, but now they're going to have money for that big buy down, and it's Crumps and Pote. Yep. Double up setup on the CT side. This is the first time that we've seen a double up in this matchup. And looking at the scoreboard, it's actually Tor that's top fragging. He's on 21, yeah. and Ether is on 20. So a pretty good uh, showing by Tor, but it just seems that it's not enough. No. Nah. Tunisia, remind. I think there's a gap in the smoke. No, he's gonna, not going to be spotted by Mactic, and finds safety in the in the vent. There we go. Pote finds an opening. Delpan goes down, and it's an uh, advantage for Tunisia. Yeah, see what they can do with this now. As you can see, they've got a an opera over at B. They've got an opera over at A. So they're going to be just trying to fan out for the time being. See what they can lock down, but. Eventually, it looks like the hit could be gear enough to go towards that B bomb site. You can see the distraction coming up from Zealous. There's the flashbang around. Pote's not going to be able to hit the shot. And Remind dropping out of the vents is going to get cleaned up. So, a little miscommunication there from the CT side. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure what Pote would have called in that situation that would have forced his teammate to rotate out through the vents. I know that the flashbang was close, but and not only that. I mean, Pote had a flash. He just threw it. He had a flash. Once he falls back, he can flash in uh, Remind to peek out of vents. Yeah. I think that would have been a, a, a better thing to do, but uh, Remind goes down and it's back to a 4-on-4. Four four. Yeah, so they give up that advantage that they had, and now Adder surely going to check this angle. She will blow him. He does just that, takes him down, and now that man advantage gets swung back into the Swedish side. So they're looking to put this one down early and often. And they've got a golden opportunity right now. If they win this one, Tunisia's money is once again going to be wrecked. And Crumps is going to have to hit some really nice shots here. Adder can't get too terribly aggressive behind this, but it doesn't matter anyway. He's going to find one. Pote coming around from B. We're down into a two versus one, but both of these players from the CT side are very, very low. Only one shot from either of these two ops is going to be enough to take down Slap, but he's just trying to find his way around. A nice there shot by Pote. And a triple kill for him. Three AWP shots, three kills. Nice, Nicely done by Pote. Uh, I would say that was an unnecessary peek there on the CT spawn by the truck, uh, leaving your uh, teammate in a 1v2. Uh, no way that, that that's needed. Uh, but it, yeah, Tunisia winning around. That double up setup definitely paying off. Yeah, big time indeed. Six rounds being the difference, 14 to 8, the score line. And this is a pretty crucial round. I mean, uh, this Tunisia, is if they lose important. this one, they're going to be uh, the backs, uh, backs against the wall. I mean, Sweden on the match point. On the other hand, if Sweden loses this one, they're on back on the eco, so and this is pretty much you know make it or break it for uh, Tunisia. For both sides, really. Uh, well, Sweden has Sweden the has the rounds so to play with, yeah. but being in that buy lose save situation is never never beneficial, and this is where comebacks begin. Yep. You know, That's this true. is this is the exact situation. It's once you get that money depleted on the CT side, it's so hard to normalize and stabilize your economy. And Sweden realizes they, they're going to go and pull out uh, an A strat, but it seems like it's going to be a fake. Is this the one they, where they go B? No, it's just going to be an A split. Remind is in a good position. Gets the one, gets the second one. And his, his teammates are there. Slap gets the refrag. Pote is there with a kill of his own. It's all on Celis, 1v2. Yeah, see if he can execute this. He needs a 3k on the round in order to shut this one down. A minute and five left on the clock. Lots of time for him to figure out where he wants to go. And both players are favoring over towards the A bomb site. So if he plays this slow enough, he might make them second guess to the point where they rotate a player off of A and give him an, an opportunity at a one versus one in either of these spots. And you can actually see they're not moving at all on the CT side. They've got a uh, rifle I, down on short and they've got an AWP from truck. And I really like that. Uh, that uh, I mean... Play, play the money system. Yeah. 
I mean, you're in, a, in an advantage, even if he goes B. I mean, rotate together and uh, try and win the round. Now they spawn him. He goes for a peek. This should be easy for Tunisia, right? No. No? Nothing's been easy for him throughout this matchup yet. He's going to make him work for it. That's for damn sure. And Zealous, he's kind of come alive in this second half as well. Starting to rattle on the frags, but we'll see what he can do going into this one. As he can hear them pushing up in towards the site. Spots out one player from the back side of the quad boxes. Not able to land the spray. Shiva will finish him off. And with that being said, we will see a ninth round now for Tunisia. So they're down, but they're not out just yet. That and bomb plant find... does help. Nice. Yeah, it's true. But um, Tunisia wins the round. And they're going to find the second op. So a pretty, pretty good round by Tunisia. And actually really well played by the two guys. They played the body system, like you said. Uh, yeah. Peaked together. Got the kill on Xelos. And yeah, uh... The bomb plant helps, but uh, still, it's going to be Sweden on uh, somewhat. Uh, it's actually a force by four tech nines in Kellar Delpan. He's only gonna have a deagle saving for that AWP. Yeah, but these are the rounds that you see work all the time. They're gonna set up for a smoke strategy in towards the A bomb site. They're gonna be able to line up all of these smokes and then execute wholeheartedly in towards A. The scariest part about this right now is the mobility of those tech nines. Yep. They've got the armor on four out of the five players. They're already out of squeaky. Gonna be looking for a Bote though. Gonna be able to find two. Could spam Squeaky and find another one potentially, but it's just gonna be a pretty decent cleanup here. Three kills on the round from Pote. One from Remind, but the the Tech 9 comes in strong. There's the peak from Pote. And the quad kill. 4K, yeah. Quad kill on the round for him and a tenth round for Tunisia. Yeah, I mean this specific like try of a of an ace rat i never seen this one all five players going through squeaky right and the two guys going before the smokes landed so yeah i, I like if, that idea if they got the kill on pote maybe but he pulled out a nice uh, double kill the second one being the no scope i think or a quick so quick scope not not sure so, yeah. yeah 14 to now it's 14 10 really really well done by uh, T uh, tunisia so far yeah, and, you know, I talked about how Sweden's going to have this tremendous terrorist side just because this map is easier to play on T side than it is on CT side. Tunisia is starting to answer the call. They're starting to get themselves a little bit of momentum, get themselves back into this matchup. And that's exactly what they need to have happen. Pote, I told you how important it was going to be when they got on the CT side that he hits op shots. He got three of them the last round. Yep. See if he can capitalize into this round. He's going to be playing very aggressive over towards that A main area. So he's just peeking in, waiting for somebody to, you know, oblige show themselves it's not going to happen just yet but hey once again went for that aggressive peak and squeaky he spotted a guy but couldn't land the uh, land the shot it's going to be a mid take from sweden slow play now from the t side of sweden they don't want to give anything up it's another gun round they don't want to be in that buy lose safe situation that they were in before so we'll see if they're going to be able to capitalize moving forward into this round. Looking for the opening pick, Remind, over at the top of Catbox, just to have a little bit of a spam duel going out with Adder over there. But nothing connecting just yet. Still 28 seconds on the clock ticking down. They've used up a lot of the clock into this round. They need to start finding kills. Crumbs is going to get smoked off. Misses the kill. Remind is there on a quick rotation. He finds a double. Sheva is still in the site. Alive and kicking. Finds a double kill of his own. And now it's all on Belpen. And Sheva with the triple kill, yeah. nicely done by Sheva and Remind. Remind with a quick rotation, they were, they were three on B. Uh, he gets a double spray down, Sheva on the side, gets a triple of his own. Uh, really, really well done by Tunisia, and that was another full by round one. It's 14 to 11, it's cutting it close. As we said, uh, we said it before the match, this could go double digits for uh, Tunisia. And it's definitely well, I was hoping for it, because every yeah. match that I've cast so far at this <laughs> tournament has been a blowout. Um, and this is where things are a little bit scary. You know, this Swedish lineup we've been we've been hyping up as being uh, a force to be reckoned with, and they're not exactly bringing the noise like we expected them to do into this matchup. We figured that, you know, Cash was going to get vetoed first and foremost. We thought that that was going to go just because uh, Tunisia put up such a fight against France earlier at a 16-14 loss. Um, and Mirage was still on the board. So, or Dust2 was – was it Dust2 or Mirage that was still on the board? I think it was Mirage that was still on the board. Uh, yeah. So, so, a little bit questionable, but Adder, he's got other ideas. He's going to be able to hit the one dig there, takes down Tor, that's the top fragger. Now they've got an opportunity in the round. This time on the other side of A main, 
He still finds a kill, but not a, not a second one this time. And seems like they want to go for B. Crumbs is uh, in the tracker room. Gets only the one kill. I'm not sure about that peak. I mean, they're on a weak buy. There's no way they're going to have Molotovs to flush you out there. Out of that position. And it's going to be uh, two and two. Bomb finally planted over there at the B-bomb site. They've got a player encroaching from CT. They've got a player over by Heaven. Through. Trying to connect whatever they can, but it's not going to happen. With only a Desert Eagle in hand, Maedig is kind of stuck over in the site. The long spray down from Zealous isn't going to be able to connect. They're down to the pistols. Both players, two bullets left in the Desert Eagle magazine. See if he can do anything into this, and he will. Sweden going to clean up another round. That's 15 to 11. They're looking to put this one to bed and take this oh. one 16 to 11 if they can. Oh, Tunisia, not like this. I mean, they, they fought so hard to get back into yeah, it. Yeah, and now, now you lose around. <laughs> now you lose around to only pistols and uh, scouts to Xalos on Xalox. So not a good round by Tunisia, but hey, they're still in it. Four more, and um, it's a decent buy yeah. for them as well. Yep, only and I like this. This is a reminisce of the pistol round. Nice yep. counter flash comes out though, and the spot goes in. Slap's gonna be able to get away. It does take a little bit of damage, but he finds himself an avenue of escape. They've got players rotating all over the place, but that's a good start there. Zealous going to be able to find Pro K. Get a little more aggressive, bites off a little more than he can chew. And Slap as well going to be able to find one. Eventually the trade comes in as Delphian drops in Squeaky. Show is getting flanked. Yeah. Uh, an easy kill really for Slap. For and slap. Krampus and Remind, they need to keep Tunisia in this game. Yeah, and, and Krampus is one of the ones that's kind of not done too much into this matchup. Been remind mostly it's tour as well. Pote stepping up in the second half when they needed him the most, but I mean a one man advantage here for Sweden. This is gonna be such a difficult site to retake and Adder is gonna be able to pretty much put the linchpin into the round. Remind, remind gets a kill. Yeah, thirty two HP. Doesn't have a kit, it's becoming harder and harder. He's going to find a kill on Matig as well. Xelos is it's not the bomb plan for him, but I think he's pretty low on time already, and the Molotov is going to kick in, so... Yeah. Yep. A round for Sweden, a win for Sweden. They are going to be on a 4-0 and score after this one. I gotta say, a pretty pretty good showing for Sweden so far in these two days of the tournament so far. And I'm gonna say, I'm a little impressed with Tunisia's yep. boys in that well. matchup. You know, they, they lost 16-14 to 14 to France. They haven't won a match so far, but they're showing heart and soul, and that's the biggest part about this, too, is they're the pride that, you know, that's a word, a buzzword that keeps coming up on the desk is pride. These players are all playing for a, for a matter of pride. Yep. And um, putting up 11 rounds to one of the tournament favorites, I think that they came in as a little bit of an underdog. Sweden, talking about Sweden, coming in as a little bit of an underdog to, to lineups like Canada, Turkey, and Denmark. But they have proved their worth, and for Tunisia to play them as close as they did and even mount a little bit of a comeback at the end, that was uh, that was a pleasure to see, but it's promising for the playoffs. I mean, if you if you yeah, keep, keep, anything can happen. Yeah, if you keep playing better and better, I mean, going into playoffs, that's when you want to be on your best. So, I mean, this 0-7 doesn't doesn't have to mean anything. No, not at all. I mean, they can turn it around once they get on the uh, once they get on the stage, once they get to the arena. But I believe we're going to be throwing things back over to our analyst desk to try to break this one down. I think we've got about three more matches to go uh, this evening before all is said and done. So. Why don't you take it away, boys? Tom, go ahead. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Tunisia taking on Sweden.